You'd need a drop of liquid, a state-of-the-art laser 3D printer, and a couple of hours of work to make the tiniest fidget spinner ever. Its width will be smaller than that of your hair strand. At least researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory managed to do just that. A double-stuffed Oreo cookie aren't double-stuffed, in fact. A math teacher weighed 10 regular Oreos, 10 double-stuffed Oreos, 10 mega-stuffed Oreos. Turns out, double-stuffed Oreos are only 1.86 stuffed Oreos. Chipotle peppers aren't some special type of pepper. They're good old jalapenos. Dried and smoked jalapeno is Chipotle. In its gaseous form, oxygen is colorless and doesn't have any odor. But when it's liquid or solid, this substance looks pale blue. After being caught by a black hole, a star gets ripped apart by its enormous gravitational forces. Some parts of the star's remains hurtle into the black hole. The rest, in the form of a huge jet of plasma, is ejected with such force that it travels hundreds of light years away. Not so long ago, scientists decided the Dino's family tree had to be redrawn for the first time in 130 years. Apparently, two species of dinosaurs had to be grouped together from the very beginning. Those were the lizard-hipped meat-eaters like T-Rex and bird-hipped vegetarians such as the Stegosaurus. A camel can drink up to 30 gallons of water in a bit more than 10 minutes. This water is stored in the animal's bloodstream. As for its fatty hump, it provides the camel with nourishment when there's little food around. Some sea animals like salmon or turtles use our planet's magnetic field to find their way home. Your lungs not only help you breathe, but they also produce blood cells. These cells are responsible for the clotting which stops bleeding. The lungs make more than 10 million of these tiny cells per hour. Only two letters never appear on the periodic table. Those are J and Q. Spin a ball when you drop it and it'll fly through the air while falling. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus effect. You can see it at work in different sports, for example, tennis or baseball. Anatidaphobia is the fear that at any point, somewhere in the world, a duck or a goose may be watching you. The person isn't necessarily afraid that the duck or goose will get close to them or even touch them. They just don't like the feeling of being watched. It was first described in a comic strip to show you how anyone can be afraid of anything. Anything can be a phobia. A duck just watching my every move would certainly give me the heebie-jeebies. I might just quack up. Your favorite fruit candies may be shining because they're covered with carnauba wax. Many fruits, especially apples, have a thin layer of this wax too. Not only can it make the candies and fruit appear glossy, but it also makes your car shine. Peaches and nectarines seem different, but in fact, they're pretty much the same fruit. If the fluffiness gene is dominant, we get peaches. If not, we get smooth nectarines. Crows are pretty good at recognizing people's faces and have been found to remember people for a long time. This could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how nice you are to them. You don't want to come across a crow that's holding a grudge against you. You probably can't tell which crow is which very easily. So it might be better to play it safe and just give them a little wave. In the city of Yoro in Central America, they have an annual event known as the Reign of Fish. Not that the locals get a choice for it anyways. Every year in May or June, a torrential rainstorm rolls through the town, leaving a mass of fish flopping around in the streets. The phenomenon is believed to be caused by water spouts or water tornadoes, which drop the fish far from their home. Seafood delivery for free? Yes, please. A single strand of spaghetti onto your fork has a name. It's called a spaghetto. In the Italian language, an I at the end of a word means that it's plural, while an O is singular. This goes for all types, like gnocco instead of gnocchi, fettuccino instead of fettuccini, and raviolo for a single parcel of goodness. Water can freeze and boil at the same time. This is called the triple point. That's when a substance can be solid, liquid, and gaseous at the same time. 
but there's only one pressure temperature that can make it possible. We're used to ranch dressing being white, but in reality, producers usually add titanium dioxide to make it as white as your sunscreen. Oh, sunscreen producers add some titanium dioxide to their products too. Same with Caesar and blue cheese dressings. Our moon used to have an atmosphere. Several volcanic eruptions happened on Earth's natural satellite around 4 billion years ago. They released immense volumes of gas, trillions of tons. It was so much that the gas didn't have enough time to escape into space. That's how an atmosphere was formed. Cold water heats up faster than hot. The speed of this process depends on the temperature difference between the liquid and its surroundings. That's why cold water needs less time to absorb heat, but it doesn't mean it'll boil faster than hot water. Zealandia is a drowned continent in the Pacific Ocean. It's often described as a continental fragment or a microcontinent. Its area is almost 2 million square miles, about half as big as the US. It went underwater about 23 million years ago. New Zealand is Zealandia's largest part that remains above sea level. People are still evolving. Scientists have been tracking several millions of human anomalies. It turns out some harmful genes are slowly but surely getting filtered out of human DNA. Stars look as if they're twinkling because of the turbulence in Earth's atmosphere. It makes the light from the stars move in a different direction before reaching our eyes. And this looks as if the light is shaking. In a supermarket, you pass by a shelf with eggs and try to decide which ones are better, the white ones or the brown ones. There's practically no difference between them. The egg's color depends on the breed of the chicken. These birds produce two different color pigments. You can take eggs of any color because the nutritional components of the eggs are almost the same. So, what came first, the brown egg or the white egg? Eh, never mind. It's enough to use a small amount of toothpaste to brush your teeth the size of a pea. But the ads show that you have to cover the entire toothbrush with paste as a marketing ploy. Manufacturers want you to buy a new tube faster. A plane leaves white lines behind in the blue sky thanks to the condensation of carbon dioxide, steam, and burning fuel. In winter, heated air visibly comes out of your mouth. The same principle works here. It's always icy at the altitude where planes are flying. Exhaust and hot air comes out of the turbines. When it collides with cold air, it creates thick lines of steam. Almost all hotels have white bedsheets. They choose this color specifically to show how high their standards of cleanliness are. The whiter and brighter the sheets are, the more luxurious the hotel seems. It's much easier to see dirt and stains on white linen. It's like proof that you've checked into a cleaned room. Gasoline looks like a rainbow in a puddle because it can't mix with water. It forms a thin membrane over it. When light reflects from it and the water at the same time, you've got a rainbow. The Do Not Disturb sign on your hotel room door is not a requirement, but just a suggestion. Maids and staff have the right to go there if they suspect something's wrong, especially if you don't remove the sign for 24 hours. Why do clocks go to the right? The sun is the main reason. In ancient times, when people invented the sundial, the sun's shadow was moving to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Mechanical clocks were first invented in the northern hemisphere, so it always goes right. Or as we now say, clockwise. Why are the cups at parties colored red? Because it helps you quickly find your drink on the table among snacks and drinks, and all those other red cups. Here's a hint. Write your name, Michael, on the cup, if your name is Michael. Also, red is considered a color that provokes action. At the psychological level, it seems the red cup is commanding you, Hey, drink me up! They believe yellow taxis have their roots in 15th century Italy. One postal businessman used yellow cabins for delivering mail. He wanted everyone to recognize his carts. About 60 to 80% of people, mostly aged 15 to 25, occasionally have goosebump-induced deja vu moments. It's fleeting and unpredictable, and scientists are still not 100% sure why it happens and can't control it. To understand it better, they tried to create memories for patients under hypnosis. Then they asked them to forget or remember the memory, 
and it made them experience deja vu later. Other scientists tried to recreate it in virtual reality with scenes in games that looked alike. The experiments made them believe deja vu is your memory playing tricks on you. You get into a situation that's similar to a real memory that you have, but you can't remember it completely. Your brain notices the similarities and leaves you with a strange feeling of already seen. That's how deja vu translates from French. Another version is that it's a memory glitch. It's more likely to happen when you're stressed. So when you're under pressure or have a lot of information to process at once, some of it can end up in long-term memory instead of short-term memory. So you take your best friend Max to the doggy park. He meets the labradoodle of his dreams, and they start playing together. Peaceful tail wagging quickly grows into biting each other. Oh no, they're going for the next! You grab Max and rush back home. Well, in fact, there was no need to rush home. Playing with open mouths is called mouth wrestling or jaw sparring. It's a healthy way of interaction between dogs. They inherited this habit from their wolf ancestors. When a dog is a puppy, it has to learn some important skills, including fighting. Mouthing is just an imitation of it. When a puppy matures, it will know how to protect itself and respect boundaries of other doggos. All the chasing, wrestling, growling, and face biting is a way to socialize with others and have fun in the dog world. It's something like sibling rivalry and playful fights in the human world. Cute kittens and cats under the age of two also practice mouthing. They often tumble over each other and bite one another's necks to let their hunter instincts out. In the wild, cats are fast and merciless, and they can't hide it behind all the purrs in the world. The Empire State Building's tower was designed to serve as a docking station for dirigibles. At that time, people believed that these airships would become the main means of transportation in the future. The project included gangplanks, check-in and customs offices, and so on. But then the engineers realized that the wind up there was too strong for their plans, and they gave up on their idea. Angel Falls, the largest uninterrupted waterfall on the planet, is more than twice as tall as the Empire State Building. During the dry season, the falling water sometimes evaporates before it reaches the ground. One of the most mysterious sounds ever heard on Earth was the bloop. It occurred in 1997 and resembled the noise of marine animals. But the volume was too great for a sound produced by a living creature. The bloop continued for one minute. It started from a low rumble and then rose in frequency. Antarctica might just look like a giant field of ice, but there's actually a huge continent underneath. That means that it has volcanoes, mountains, and valleys, like any other continent. Scientists have recently discovered that the Antarctic landmass has the lowest point on the planet, as well as huge mountain ranges. If any of the numerous volcanoes were to erupt, it would melt a huge part of the surface ice and increase the spill of ice into the ocean. The sea level would rise and flood coastal areas around the world. The ocean waters would also be disrupted, putting marine life at risk, though all of these volcanoes are dormant at the moment. Each day on the South Pole lasts six months on this continent. The South Pole only has a single sunset and sunrise across an entire year. Early Earth might have been purple, not green. There's a theory that ancient microbes used molecules rather than chlorophyll to absorb sunlight. These molecules likely gave living organisms a violet tint. During the Stone Age, the entire population of Central Europe was around 1,500 people, which means they would all fit on a mid-sized cruise liner these days. Astronomers have figured out that the Milky Way weighs around 1.5 trillion solar masses, and one solar mass is the mass of our Sun. A tiny part of this weight is a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy and 200 billion stars. The rest is dark matter, mysterious and invisible. If all sheets of Arctic ice and glaciers melted at the same time, the sea level would rise for the height of a 26-story building. Under black or UV light, ripening bananas look bright blue. That's because of the chlorophyll that's breaking down when the fruit is ripening. Because of tectonic plate movements, the Pacific Ocean shrinks every year, and the Atlantic Ocean gets bigger by the same amount. These days, there are only two ice sheets in the world left after the planet's last ice age. The first is the Greenland Ice Sheet. 
The second, the Antarctic Ice Sheet, is enormous. It's the size of Mexico and the continental U.S. combined. Tsunami waves often go unnoticed. They don't rise for more than several inches above the surface until they reach shallow waters. When the ocean is deep, though, they can travel as fast as a long-distance passenger airplane. Corals that live in shallow waters produce their own protection from the sun. Without it, sunlight would harm the algae living inside them. To protect these algae, which are the main source of food for the corals, they fluoresce. This process makes proteins that act as sunscreen. Almost 90% of the volcanic activity on Earth happens in the oceans. The South Pacific has the largest concentration of volcanoes people know about. There's one volcano cluster that has 1,133 volcanic cones. All of them are active and cooped up in an area the size of New York State. The Zemchug Canyon in the middle of the Bering Sea is the largest underwater canyon ever discovered. There are more treasures and artifacts at the bottom of the ocean than in all museums in the world combined. In 1900, one of the biggest hurricanes struck near Central America and in the Gulf of Mexico. It then went as far as Florida and Texas and is considered to be the most devastating hurricane in the United States history. They first detected it on August 27th and it lasted for many days. By the time it reached the Texas coast, the storm had turned into a Category 4 hurricane. Hurricanes are categorized on wind speed and intensity using something called a Saffir Simpson scale. There are five different categories from 1 to 5, with 1 being the weakest and 5 being the strongest. The people of Galveston had less than four days to prepare for the arriving storm that even stretched out to Oklahoma and Kansas. The Great Hurricane then made its way to the Great Plains and turned towards the Great Lakes, New England, and reached southeastern Canada. The storm was so bad that more than 3,600 homes were damaged even though they were sturdy enough to withstand the storm. Given the population numbers back then, it was equivalent to hundreds of thousands of houses destroyed, if not millions. There are two sides to every story. Just like to a regular cotton pad, two different textures to be more precise. One is smooth, and you're supposed to use it for more sensitive areas of your face, for example, the eyes. The rougher side can help you remove makeup and clean your face in less sensitive areas, like the forehead. If you like having greenery in your home, you've probably noticed the flower pots have holes at the bottom. These holes are the reason your green friends live a happy life. They're extremely important for water drainage. Thanks to these holes, you'll avoid stagnant water buildup that can eventually ruin your plant. Also, thanks to those holes, roots can grow and expand beyond the limits of your pot. Have you noticed aviator sunglasses mostly have green lenses? It has something to do with their origin. First, they showed up in the 1930s. Before that, pilots had goggles to protect their eyes while they were in the air. High altitudes with glaring sun and sub-zero temperatures were a real test for their eyes. The goggles helped them with those issues, but there was another one. Since the temperature differences between the air outside and within the goggles were big, the lenses would fog up and obscure the pilot's view. So, the company Bausch & Lohm came up with teardrop lenses surrounded by a light metal frame. These lenses were dark green because this tint cuts out blue light, which is also a problem for pilots when they're flying above the cloud line. Plus, green lenses also reduce glare and improve contrast and sharpness. Holes in the side of your Converse sneakers? Hmm, are those really necessary? Well, they allow air to enter your shoe so your feet can stay cool. You can also use them to style up your shoes and tie them in different ways, too. There are two reasons plastic bottles have grooves. First, if you're drinking cold water and it's hot outside, you'll see there's a lot of condensation on your bottle. Or maybe if you're playing some sport or working out. Your hands are sweaty and if a bottle had a smooth surface, it would be more difficult to grip it. So the ridges are there to improve your hand grip. The second reason is that because of these ridges, manufacturers can use thinner plastic. 
That means they need less material in overall production. And that plastic is still firm enough for the bottle to maintain its shape. Wooden coat hangers are not just there to look nice. Since they're made of cedar wood, they bring a nice scent to your closet. Plus, they repel bugs. They're also quite firm, so they come in handy for heavy clothes, such as jackets. And it's hard to damage them. So, they'll serve you longer. You may have noticed there's a colored square at the bottom of your toothpaste. These blocks mostly come in blue, red, green, and black. They are some sort of eye marks, since they help manufacturing machines at the assembly line recognize where and when to cut the toothpaste and seal the end of the tube. Some boots have loops at their top and back. Looks like a fashion statement, doesn't it? Or maybe it's something that manufacturers add for fun. But those loops actually have their purpose. With them, you can pull the shoe up when trying to wear it. Plus, you can easily hang them or use the loop for better support for the laces. Confession time! Remember those attachments your vacuum cleaner came with? Did you also put them somewhere aside and never use them again? They're actually pretty helpful when you're cleaning the house because you can use them for particular areas that are sometimes hard to reach with the regular attachment. We all know what the vegetable peeler is for, but besides peeling the skin of carrots or potatoes, you can use it for onions too. It may be faster than doing it with a knife, plus it will save you some onion tears. Some sweatshirts have something pretty specific in the neck area. A V-shaped stitch you can see in the middle of the collar. The ribbed insert, similar to the ribbing at the hem and the sleeves, would allow the owner to put the garment on more easily and it wouldn't even lose shape. The V insert would stretch so a person wearing the sweatshirt could get their head through the neck. Its purpose was also to absorb sweat. In its early versions, sweatshirts had both the back and the front of the collars. Through time, they lost the back one, and this V insert became something decorative since manufacturers started to stitch a V at the collar without using the ribbed material they had added before. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.